Hi everybody, Tom from Weingarts. Today we're going to be doing a maintenance on a Toro 22 inch recycler, model 20332. We're going to be using the Briggs & Stratton provided kit. comes with air filter, spark plug, oil, and also stabilizer. We're going to be using Briggs & Stratton stabilizer. This is specially made for ethanol protectant. This is especially important for today's fuel. With the ethanol they have, it does a number on the carburetors that they use in today's machines. So we do recommend using the Briggs & Stratton ethanol protectant stabilizer. You can get this at any one of our five Weingart stores. Also, same with the tune-up kit. We do offer this at our Weingart stores also. Okay, we're going to continue on with the maintenance on our Toro 22-inch mower with the Briggs & Stratton engine, model 20332. We're going to start with changing the spark plug on it. What you need for this is a 13 16 spark plug socket and also a spark plug gapper. We're going to start by disconnecting the ignition wire, removing the spark plug. And discard the old spark plug. We're going to get our new spark plug that we got out of our Briggs & Stratton kit and we're going to check the spark plug gap before we put it back in. Briggs & Stratton recommends between 0.28 and 0 0.30 as far as for a gap measurement. And we're right on, so we're gonna go ahead and install the spark plug. With installing the spark plug, you wanna thread it in by hand instead of with the ratchet. Just due to the fact that if you try to install it with the ratchet, you do tend to cross thread the head. So we're gonna install it, get it finger tight, and we're gonna tighten it down with our ratchet. Tighten it down till it's snug, and just do a quarter turn to tighten down the spark plug. Going to reinstall the ignition wire. That's how we change the spark plug. Okay, we're going to continue on the maintenance with our Toro lawnmower with the Briggs & Stratton engine, model 20332. We're going to go ahead and replace the air filter. For this, all you'll need is a flathead screwdriver. You'll start by taking the fastener off on the front of the air filter cover. Pulling the cover down out of the way and removing the old air filter. And also inside the cover, there's a foam pre-cleaner that you want to take out and clean with clean dish water and also with soap. With the, as far as the air filter goes, throughout the season, if you do need to clean this, we do not recommend using compressed air due to the fact that you will rip the paper filter. If you do need to clean it out, we just recommend tapping it out and removing any bigger dirt or debris. But at this point, we did receive a new air filter with the tune-up kit from Briggs & Stratton, so we will go ahead and replace that, and we will go ahead and clean this pre-filter. With our pre-filter cleaned and our new air filter, we'll go ahead and install it. Now when you put the pre-filter in, there's two sides. You have the foam on one side, and you have a grate on the other side. You want to put this side, the grated side, towards the outside of the air filter cover, away from the engine. So we'll go ahead and install that first. You do want to make sure that you clean the outside of the air filter cover and also anything on the inside of the air filter too. That way it does not get sucked in the engine when you go to start it. So we'll insert our pre-cleaner and we'll go ahead and insert our new air filter. When you insert the air filter, there's a seal side and there's an air filter side. You want the seal side to go towards the engine and the pleated air filter side to be away from the engine. That's what's gonna catch all your dirt. We'll go ahead and install the air filter Move the cover up, and we'll go ahead and tighten it down with our flathead screwdriver. Once snug, you're all set with your air filter. All right, we're going to continue on with the maintenance on our Toro mower with the Briggs & Stratton engine, model 20332. We are going to go ahead and change the oil on this. Now, the cool thing about this is you do not have to have any tools to do the oil change on a, on a Toro or this Briggs & Stratton engine per se. Um, best thing to do is run the machine for 10 or 15 minutes, let that oil get warm. Once it's warmed up, shut the mower down, disconnect your spark plug wire, and you wanna make sure when you tip the machine up, tip the air filter side up, which in turn will put the dipstick side down. You're gonna remove the dipstick, and you're gonna tip the machine into a, a drain pan to catch all the oil. Okay, once the oil has drained into your oil pan, we're gonna flip the machine back onto its wheels. 
and we're going to properly dispose of our used oil. You can take it any local auto parts store. A Weingarts does accept any used oil for a small environmental charge. Now at this point, we will use the SAA 30 oil that was supplied to us in our tune-up kit from Briggs & Stratton. This is a 18 ounce oil that does properly fill your machine. Once the bottle is empty, we're gonna clean the dipstick to make sure there's no dirt or debris on your dipstick when you insert it in the engine. We're just gonna lightly seat the, oil, the dipstick, pull it back out and check it. It should be at the very top of the second dot on your dipstick. Once it is full, you're good to go. Once we're all set, we're gonna reconnect the spark plug wire and fire it up. That's how you change the oil.